pour some sugar on me. Why this dude rolled up drunk is him. Oh, now I'm crying, you guys. And my lashes are like, just like sliding on up. You work with mental health, but that's how you answer the question. I don't wanna say too much about it. Think it might just be a waste of time. Trying to make your mind. I really wanna try to get to know you, but my heart won't let me cross the line. I need a new supply. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Callie Red Glam. If you are new, hit that subscribe button down below. Come and join the Glam Squad. And to my Glam Squad, thank you for returning. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm actually getting ready to just flat iron my ends. They do look flat already. I do not have nails on today because I'm going to be braiding my baby girl's hair. School starting this week, so time to get those braids in motion so that we don't have to do spend time on a lot of hair doing just for like a first few weeks or so, you know? So, but I'm getting ready to flatten this down. I always use this little olive oil. I just spray a little bit at the ends, just to, even though I kind of broke the top. Oh, I kind of got it on my shirt now. I'm gonna have to change my shirt probably. I don't know, I might not. I don't want to flatten the top. And then it start to show my tracks, okay? But anyway, I am on my way to go and take the girls to get some shoes for school. So we're getting ready to do, let them go get some shoes for the first days of school. I think I'm having to get like two pair, two pair of shoes. I think that would be good. So, um, I think that'll be good for them to start off for the school year because I already bought them a pair of shoes, some Nikes and some Converse. That's what they wanted um, a little bit ago, but now we're going to get two more pair of shoes and um, I need to get a little bit of this back here. Kitchen part. Y'all know what the kitchen is now. No stoves, no refrigerators. Um, I don't. I left off on my last vlog, which I'm actually uploading today. I just need to get a few extra things ready for my thumbnail. My light keep going on and off, y'all. <laughs> Let me turn it off. I have went to get food. And I, I think I left off doing my makeup on my last vlog, showing you that. Grill. Why this dude rolled up drunk as hell? My girls had went into the store next to the restaurant. So they wanted to run in there and get snacks for later when they watched a little movie. Girl, why this fool run up on the curb? Not harshly, but to where you know something wrong with him. He get out the car swaying from left to right. You know how little Kim was doing her little damp? Like, thank God the girls didn't come out the store yet. He, um, he went and sat in the restaurant, but I just couldn't believe he was moving from left to right. Like, thank God they wasn't walking out the store. Cause dude, I'm kind of whole, and I could tell he do it all the time because he just rolled up and you know how it has the barrier for when you park. It has that little barrier at the bottom of the ground. He rolled over that, but he's in a higher truck, like an F-150, but an old model. And yeah, I just was thanking God that my girls were not out there. Rolls with collagen, face, and body oil. I've been kind of liking this lately, okay? I really don't like the scent though. My face needs a little bit more extra moisturization to it, okay? I'm using this Miami Vibes just to give me some sparkle. It smells really sweet and it doesn't last that long. But um, it kind of gives a little... Got to be careful about spreading it on your clothes. It gives a little glitter to the arms. Oh, and they finally sent my lashes, y'all. I was on the phone with um, AT&T getting my girls some new iPhones to start school. I was supposed to get them a while ago. And I went with AT&T because I didn't have to put a down payment, so that was good. Oh, I just, I just wishing that they would send me a little extra something in there, you know? But anyway, these are the Voluminous and Curly Impress Press on Falsies. So, I'm going to put these on. I probably will put these on either tomorrow or in a couple days. They also sent me a... 
Joan Beauty, the Innovative Lip Tint. So, try that out. All right, let me get everything together, pull this out the wall. We don't need nothing still burning while I'm gone. The drastic difference of sisters. This is her backpack, and then show them yours. And now this is hers. That is crazy. <laughs> I am up, 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 up. Oh, uh, I am up, and I have. I do not have my stand over here. I got y'all sitting in my medicine cabinet. All right, today more hair being done. Going to my baby girl's school to get her schedule because because they being lazy right now. So I want to make sure that I just go ahead and schedule. Then I'm probably gonna give me something to eat because I'm hungry and I ain't doing nothing to my hair. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just gonna fix my baby hairs a little bit, like brush my baby hairs a little bit in the in the front. Um, nothing really much today. I'm doing hair all day today, but I'm probably not going to film it. I'll show you guys when I'm done. I started last night finishing one half of her hair today. Let me do this. Let me do a little bit right here as I tie it down because yeah, that's not, that's not working. Tie it down, put it in the bonnet, hop in the shower, go get her schedule. Um, about to get ready. All right, y'all, this is how it came out. I was trying my best to do it real fast. So cute. What's up, y'all? I took my lashes off some real old. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy how you managed to make me into a sponsor. You got me paying for shit. Actually, it's cute. Let me see, Sean. I had to position the camera. Like, I was looking, it was looking real weird. Okay, it was looking real weird. Real weird. I need to bring this down some more. And I don't even really want it to stay there. Put it there, trying to see what it would look like, if it would be cute, whatever. But anyway, I just got through putting on some more lashes. I'm always putting um extra another lash at some point. Um, It's so hot in the house, too, that even if I put on my overnight, it usually works without me doing overnight. I can just wake up and I'm good. My lashes are still on for, like, a good three days, sometimes longer. So this time I decided to use the overnight, and yeah. I was sweating and my lashes are like just like sliding on up so I took them off and I put on the spiky um press ons but I still used my uh Foscare bonding seal because I was like no I, I need these to, you know I need these to stay on okay so they looking cute they're the spiky y'all saw me do them just a few minutes ago getting ready to leave to go run a couple of errands but my baby girl get out in like 20 minutes or so so I'm gonna just go ahead on and pick her up and then take her to get ice cream because it's crazy, crazy hot today. They're giving them short days today. I don't know why they give them short days now, girl. They they done been out of school for two and a half months. Why is y'all giving them half day? They need to be at school. Okay. At school. Also, as y'all can see, I didn't tell y'all last week, but I'm pretty sure y'all kind of noticed that I changed my um little rack closet, little rackety rack right here to over here. And I try to do a little seating arrangement over here, but I'm looking on Wayfair for a side table to go with my new gold bed. Ooh, I just realized that I never put up my um, short form content. Let me work on that now before I got to go get my baby girl in a few minutes. Let me work on that because it didn't come out right. It came, it came out like weird. I did it on iMovie, didn't I? Let me see iMovie. Let me see.
I'm making extra noises to give it ASMR. We got the wet and wild. What is this, a big? I actually had this before. What is this? All oh, places are oh, always open. Ooh, what's this? Many women have done excellently, but you have surpassed them all. This is cute. You're an amazing one. Strong as a mother. So cute. A top ramen bowl. It'd only be cool if it say actually say it on there when you take it out the box. Cheese board, oh, apricot. These are so cute. For a pink aesthetic. But yeah, I like your swag. You seem cool. I like your T2, so. For sure. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go on down here. We can start with your name and age. Uh, Braylon, I'm 37. And Braylon, what do you do? I work in mental health. I counsel people with substance abuse and mental health issues. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? The first thing I saw was the tat on the neck. And that's crazy work at our age. Not okay. her looking at the so tattoo I'm on the neck, too. Okay. Um, she was fidgety with the answers. Um, Y'all yeah, popped it on the two kids because two was too many. Um, one baby daddy, though. One baby daddy. One baby daddy. One baby daddy. One baby daddy. Mm, very good co-parenting relationship as well, so. That is yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, For him to work man. with mental health, first it. of all. <laughs> You work, first of all, you work with mental health, but that's how you answer the questions. Okay. And he said, oh, one baby daddy. That's awesome. Yeah. He trying to, he trying to put it off, but mm, yeah, I don't like this already. <laughs> that's cool. All right. So is he someone that's your type? Oh uh, yeah. He's cool too. Uh, uh, the bands yes. I, I got it linked up against clothes like on my bed. Man, we're advanced a while. I love the fit though. Like, I, why like, they pan cool, down to like, his vans? I was trying. I was like, I, like, you know, yeah, yeah, I understand the nerves and everything, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I get that. But when you said, um, I don't really date bald men, and I'm short. Sure <laughs> I on didn't top say of that, that. I said like, I haven't dated a bald man before. And then you got on before. his. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, yeah. I felt like if I'd have kept that balloon, you'd have been like, because oh, yeah. you're too I, short. I so <laughs> it was a preemptive pop. Yeah. But no, you're you're yeah. well put together. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, she definitely would have popped it because all the short guys don't get no love on here. <laughs> they do not be picking the short dudes. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about Pop the Balloon. I think that this is a good, good show. And um, it be a lot going on on here too, though. It be a lot going on. But I like this show, but at the same time, I hate it because I hate the way that some of the guys act they really be putting it on crazy thick. And then some of the girls, they be on a toxic BS too. But yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this show. Or do y'all be watching it? <laughs> it's a good, good show. If you watch anything on YouTube, y'all need to watch her. And one thing I noticed too, is that Arlette got a little bit over three. Her name is Arlette. This is the girl right here, the host. This is her show. And I see people trying to copy her show here on YouTube. But hers, top notch. She does, she's really good with her show. Um, also, I noticed she got, she gets millions of views for this show on YouTube. But her subscriber count is a little over 300,000. Like a lot of people are viewing her content. A lot of people are interested in her content. And... They're trying to rip her off also by not following her, but always viewing her, but always viewing her content to, you know, put it in their videos, follow her at least. She should have a million subscribers, how much views she get for this show. 
So I thought that was kind of weird. Be I kind of I love the show, but sometimes I kind of hate it because I hate how they how everybody be acting. All right, so nobody picked her. I thought she was cute. Nobody picked her, and that goes to show you the they trying to see if the grass is greener. All right, let's see what what's the next girl that come out. Let's come on. Let's see who come out. How many? Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Ooh. Jamie. Jamie, how old are you? I'm 27. And what do you do? I am a business analyst. Okay, nice. What are some things you like to do for fun? I like to cook. Okay. I like to write. I like to read. I like to work out. I like to hang out with my family, my friends. Right. I just like to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, okay, so has to have a relationship with Jesus, mm. first and foremost. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. He has to be um, has a vision for his life, like um, business or something along the sorts of like you know career figured out. Yeah. Um, family oriented. Um, I really look for character. So okay. like you're kind, you're patient, you're loving, those types of things. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. No relationship with Jesus, first okay. and foremost. Um, smoking. Mm. I don't do smoking. Um, Emotional unavailability, um, that's a deal breaker. Poor communication, okay. that's a deal breaker. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, so we did get um, a few pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Let's do it. Okay, if we can start with your name and age. Ramon, and I'm 36. Okay. And Ramon, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm a weed smoker. We know. Okay. That's that, yeah. That's so it. is she someone that is your type? Yeah, she's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> now, is Ramon your type? Um, I would say no. Okay. Um, it's just the physical attraction piece. Okay. Yeah. Is yeah. there something specific? Um, she's so messy. She is messy. It's just like at first glance, it's not like the physical attraction isn't there for me. Okay. Why you are let me saying anything hey, specific? <laughs> Let's go to our next guy. Your name and age? Uh, JD, 35. And JD, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, I mean, she mentioned the smoking. You know, I'll be smoking Mary J. You know, every once in a while. So you know. every okay. once in a while is a lie. Okay. So apart from that, is she someone that is? You smoke of? all the time. Yeah. I mean, she cool. Okay. Uh, I rock with her. She was out. <laughs> all right. Now is she someone? That's she had the cute look at her. I would say no. Um, why not? Just the physical attraction. Again, the same thing. Like initially, I just don't feel it. But um, sure, you're a great guy. Respect, respect. It's yeah. all love. You ain't gotta say you sore here, yeah. great guy. Just say you ain't your type. This guy here. Your name and age. I hate when they do that. Uh, Thirty-seven. Okay. And Braylon, why did you pop your balloon? Um, initially I saw I thought that she was beautiful, but it was too much weave you know, off the shoes for me. Um, so yeah, I just kind of her toes hanging off the shoes. Like, gripping the side of the shoe. So it's not even trying to be. I ain't trying to be funny. Let's take a deep look at what he working with. Okay. Mr. V-A-N. Vans all day. Let's go back. Your name and age? Uh, Braylon. I'm 37. Okay. And Braylon, why did you pop your balloon? Um, Initially, I saw, I thought that she was beautiful, but it was too much weave. Toes hanging off the shoes for me. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of, the toe was like she gripping the side of the shoe. So it's not even trying to be, not even trying to be funny. It's just, that's, that's what I saw. <laughs> Little trees and everything like that every now and then. So I don't need her judging me. And then she talking about like, Jesus thing like is is you bad because you're not a Christian or wow. it's too much stress, man. I ain't, you know what I mean. Okay, wow. but I'm sure you're a wonderful lady, though. Gonna top it off with that. Yeah. <laughs> that's with that Jesus. <laughs> no, is he someone that's your type? I think I think you're attractive. I like your outfit. I like things being put together. I think you're attractive. I don't judge people who smoke, by the way. And you're not just if you don't have a relationship with God, that doesn't mean that you're a bad person. That's just what I look for. And he already know that. He already know that, but he just he just want to have a reason to say something. That's all it is. He just want to have a reason to say something. We know to what type of videos he watches. Like I take it very seriously on YouTube. Life, so 
name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Antoine. I'm 35. I popped my balloon just because of the I'm Muslim. You look okay. amazing, though. Thank I mean, you. Don't let nobody stop you from. Thank okay, you. first of all, this is all I gotta say. Is him the last girl he had already heard her say she had two kids in the beginning? He waited to the very last moment to see if he would be almost the last guy standing. Then he popped it and his excuse was she had the kids. This time, this girl started off with, she's Christian. You have to be into God. He waits until the last guy is standing with the balloon to see if he's going to be in the last round. Then he pops it and he his reason for popping it is because of exactly what she already said is a deal breaker or something that she already mentioned one of her qualities or some information about her like you heard her say be a christian now he's saying oh i'm a muslim oh you have two kids so it's something i was looking at him like he cool but then why are you waiting to the last minute to state the obvious and pop your balloon i don't know about him okay so let me see Mm. Great. So as I saw you, I was I immediately it. attracted to you, but it was just that. That's all. Muslim. Okay. I respect it. For sure. <laughs> I respect it. Now, is he someone that's your type? I would say, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're tall. Yeah, you're handsome. They sure are going to make sure they let yeah. it know that he's the like tall a, like preference. Very stunning. I don't look, like look using at, beautiful. Look at his face. Uses <laughs> stunning. I like Thank that. You. Look, Thank look. you. Look, mm -hmm. look. <laughs> I know they are. He said something, but I like the white toes. I like the white toes. And I love the Christian side. What's up? I'm trying to fix this. It's the next day and we are about to go to the grocery store. Did I say that too fast? We're about to go to the grocery store. Okay. Um, it is very much needed. I need groceries ASAP. So we are about to make some pizza tonight. I hope I don't get lazy. Um, I think I might make it tomorrow. Um, I want to get a bottle of wine. I want to do like some like homemade pizza and then have like a little glass of wine or whatever. Shower, get dressed, and then we're going to go to the grocery store. And then I'm going to put on a little music. Have y'all heard that Chloe and Holly want me? Beautiful voices. I am finally dressed. So I use this in the shower Dove Body Scrub, and it's the pomegranate. So good. This is the Dove Rejuvenating Pomegranate scent. Smells so good. Y'all saw me put this on the other day. Miami Guess. Um, Miami Vibes. It's a shimmer fragrance. I ended up just using this. But it's coconut body oil. Yes. I'm kind of figuring I'm leaving a little bit late, as y'all see. It's dark now. Um, yeah, I'm going a little bit later than I wanted to because I was sitting around. Kids would watch TV, playing the games, and then also I was on um, TikTok. I come in. I'm probably not going to make my pizza, y'all. I'm going to see how I'm feeling because my baby girls be making pizza, and it be good. Yes, let me get my butt off of TikTok. I will be on here for hours just laughing and cracking up. And they up there yelling, so I might as well. Yes, let's go to get some groceries. I need a lot of dairy products. That's what I need. And I need some pasta. I think I need some penne pasta. I need some heavy whipping cream. I need some salmon, milk for the girl cereal. Already got them a bunch of snacks from Sam's Club. Hot and spicy chicken ramen onions. Oh, excellent. Let me get one too. All right, we done in the grocery store. Now we're on our way to Walmart because they didn't have our pizza dough. She said I gave her a nickel. Um, the, the sodas are 50 cent in the machine. And I accidentally gave her a nickel. She had a dollar eighty. The odd feels so bad. Now she has to run back over there. And Walmart closed in 30 minutes. It's 10 30. They close at 11. So we're trying to hurry up and get there. Alright, I'm not gonna show everything that we taking it old school. We got the Kool-Aid packets, okay? It made zero sugar pineapple. Okay, have never tried this before, but we gonna see how it goes down. And my pup, oh, we got the pizza crust. We got the pizza crust. This is all from um from Walmart. My pup got some fresh pet 
beef because he needs it. We got two of these actually. Some orange jewels. Okay, we got the champagne and the orange juice. And boom. And then we got some we got some stuff to um like do like um breakfast in the morning. And then I got some onion to go on my pizza. I got some creamy ranch garlic sauce to go with the pizza. It's literally like a pineapple. Mm, That's good. It do. It tastes really good, actually. And then I also got some eggs. They put them in there. And then I got some, what is this? Some espresso blend cold brew. I got me a little whipped topping. This is a light one. Um, Grab some classical and some bortelli. This is the um, garlic alfredo. And then I got some traditional pizza sauce. This is for our pizza. And then I also got some blueberries. Some whipping cream because I want to do pasta. I got me one of these. I got these, I get these all the time, y'all. The dark chocolate sour cream. And I bought some pink lady apples. And then I got some mandarins. And then I also have vanilla cream. I mean vanilla caramel creamer to go with our stock. Um, I got these to go together. And then we have the Yo Play. We have a mixed berry and then we have a strawberry. Some bananas. I always buy me some tuna steaks because I love them. I also got like eggs. I got broth, um, loaves of bread, and then some bagels. <laughs> and then I got some mozzarella to go to our pizza. And then I bought some caramel, Smucker's Caramel. Good. Also got an avocado. My baby girl loves avocado and she loves this. So she's going to make, they had this on sale like in the sales rack for 92 cents. It's not actually uh, expired. So she's going to make this. And then we have our beef broth because my baby girl is going to be making a pork roast. I have a bunch of stuff over there. So I'm going to let the girls do their thing because they're looking at me can, like, can you hurry up? But I also did forget that they did buy pepperonis for their side of the pizza. They didn't have my habanero, so I can't do habaneros on there. And then we definitely gonna have us some coffee in the morning. Make me a good coffee in the morning. And then I also got salmon, and then I got red skin potatoes um, to go with it. And also I got a bottle of wine. I have a San Antonio Winery Cardinal red wine, okay? But this is gonna go with my pizza, so I'm not gonna open it tonight. We are about to do a little skincare, okay? Super quick though. Which I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Just going in with my normal, with my normal little Fenty fat water. I'm only putting a little bit on because I feel like I don't need that much of a toner today. This one first. I'm supposed to do like two drops. Moisturizer. Uh, that I got from Ross 2. I think I showed this to you guys before. It's called Creme. So it's a hydrating face cream. I only want a little bit. I don't want a lot of it. It has a scent and I don't like things with scent. So I'm just going to do like a little bit. And it really actually goes a long way. So. Okay. I keep forgetting to put my um. My um band on my little new band I got from Timu yeah see it has a scent and so ooh, I can feel the irritation right here see it has a scent oh I'm not very fond of it and then I have a eye cream I'm so happy to finally have eye cream it's called absolute care also from Ross okay um it's okay to rub it in gently but really I'm going I'm thinking of being rush rushy rushy when you're doing eye cream pat it in with your ring finger because you can be more gentle with these fingers you're going to be super harsh um and you want to always go all the way back to the temple okay and then sometimes i kind of like do that but this is a little relaxing moment and to just you know be gentle with this i have a face oil um, it's a cannabis sativa hemp seed oil in which hazel is a skin rescue oil, vitamin E, okay, and to give our skin some plumpness. So we want to get this warmed up. We always warm up the oil, y'all. Always warm up your face oil in your hand first, okay? 
and then put it on. Ooh, okay, okay. I like that. I got that from um, Grocery Alley, y'all. It's really good. And one thing about having the CBD um, oil on your skin, it helps with any type of like irritations. That's what I love about having a CBD oil. I am going to go to thrift shopping, y'all. I've been thrifting. Uh, my baby girl actually got me into thrifting. I've always went to like Goodwill and stuff. But in Goodwill, I be feeling like I don't be finding that much good stuff. Forrest Gump? Not yet. Not yet. So basically, you're going to watch it. Right. Why do they have this? <laughs> but it's still kind of like, really? Here. Yeah. The Stallion Queen. Extra special crocky pop. Oh, what's this? Oh, essential managers got manager's manual. All right, y'all. Um, the kids are actually um talking to me as I was really trying to video this chair. Um, but they're asking me to buy stuff. But initially, I started out saying that I wish I would have got this chair. It's so cute. I wish I'd have found this chair first. So cute. It's only like twenty five bucks or something like that. All right, y'all. I've been back in the house for a little bit, but I want to show y'all what I got. Um, y'all see I was in there looking at a few things. Um, this is so cute. My baby girl picked this out and was like, boom. Because she know I love pink. Oh, where would I even put this at? Maybe in the bathroom? Super cute. Oh, maybe this can go on top of my vanity. <gasps> Found some stuff for um, <coughs> Halloween. And it says Ashlyn on the back, so I believe this is from Hobby Lobby. And then I got, I found one more, okay, for $2 to, look at this, look how cute this is. Pour some sugar on me, signed coffee. Heck of cute, got this for 10 bucks. Um, it only cost 19, but I got it for 10 bucks. Um, and I think I might've got an extra discount. This, so cute, right? It's a, um, it's a vase. And I'm wondering how I will, you know, get that together. It's cute, showing the grand, concert um by mozart i have this a candle holder now look it's a little different how much did i pay for this i paid four dollars can you see that can y'all see that four dollars i paid four dollars but i'm going to actually paint this anyway y'all we're getting ready to make some pizza i'm, I'm still considering putting salmon on mine, but i kind of don't want to i really just want to be cheese and like veggie-ish slept without my bonnet on like literally fell asleep late into the night and didn't sleep with my bonnet on I just I had the bun and I'm just like brushing it down this morning let's make us a little iced coffee because I need a little pick me up before I like try to like cook some breakfast um I really want to make me um like an omelet because I'm always making the same things all the time but I just realized that I forgot to get tomatoes I, what did I forget I forgot tomatoes and I forgot to get Kit Kats but let's get into this iced coffee lips dry my lips are very dry I don't know if you guys can tell right here I ended up buying these from Hobby Lobby okay either they were like $1.98 or like $2 and they matched it up 
kitchen so i thought they were really cute they're a little bit different so that's why i didn't get them at first but because of the price i was like you know what the design is kind of okay it matched the kitchen it's cute it was only like two bucks in there from hobby lobby so and they had all four so i was like okay we'll put them on there so very cute very cute but i'm not going to use it right now i'm going to use my mug um put that over there so i don't break it Very good, very sweet. Okay, yes, okay, I did good, I did good. I was um looking at TikTok. I don't know if you guys heard about it already, but the guy, it, she said, the, the wife says, when I'm deathly allergic to shellfish, but he orders it anyway, I think he craves it more knowing it'll send me to the grave. Now anybody knows that somebody is allergic to anything sometimes even seasonal allergies will make you so miserable i can understand that the people who get really bad so to have a seafood allergy and your husband orders it like what if he accidentally touches you touches the table um touch your jacket touch your drink he you guys can't even share a meal um they had a few guys and it was like well, my my wife is allergic to fish and i haven't ordered it in 13 years once she is you know once she said that she's allergic it's no longer something that's in my diet so who gonna tell her he don't give two about you to be doing that that is so odd and so weird. This is crazy. What is she going to anaphylactic shock? Um, okay, she does probably have her, um, you know, like her EpiPen with her. Um, every time I think of EpiPen, I think of uh, my girl off of um, Love is Blonde. People who need to have the EpiPen with them just in case, that's just in case. Not you needing to carry because your husband is going to order what can definitely make you ill. For he is so wrong and literally on the phone eating a cocktail what is it called the um shrimp cocktail you know that she allergic that she could die insane he don't care he do not care that's insane i have not had an iced coffee in a long long time i make me an omelet i'm back after i edit it sat on the couch edit it Drink down my iced coffee that I'm spilling on my shirt. And so now I'm getting ready to make me my veggie omelet. So I have my two eggs, okay? And then I'm going to put some diced bell peppers, diced red onions. Um, I also have some baby spinach to go in there. And I'm going to do two different cheeses. I always buy these house brand um, two pound bag of cheeses and so I'll have a cheddar cheese one too. Oh, now I'm crying you guys over chopped onions. They go. They got my eyes going crazy. Here we are. Ooh, looky 
y'all. Yes, yes. I should have topped it with like a little bit of more like cheese. That'd have been good. So let's taste it. Let's see. Mmm. I had told y'all that I was going to... I think I might have told y'all that I wanted to paint this. And I did. I actually painted a while ago, but I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, I was just looking at it like I might want to paint over this one more time because they're just like little spaces that I feel like, you know, like I could have gotten real good like right there. But it's really an old, like I know like when I had it, I'll show you a picture of it Um, or like a video of how it looked when I first bought it. If you are not new to the Glam Squad, you would have saw that in previous vlogs. Yeah. And I thrifted this and I was like, this would be so cute in pink. It kind of reminds me of like Cinderella era and like something like that. It is heavy, y'all. When I say heavy, 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 heavy. So I just want to show y'all that I finished it, that I actually did it, but I didn't do it um, on the vlog. But um, I think I might have been on Snapchat. I told y'all that I was on Snapchat a lot. So it's cute or whatever. I'm loving that. That is so cute. And it's like old school, you guys. Like it's so, the, the mirror is like heavy. Um, this is super heavy too. So that's how I know that it's like old school. I need to actually look it up. I only paid $10 for it. And I felt like it cost probably more. <laughs> so yes, very, very cute. Very cute, love.